it's warm. Oh my god, it's boiling. So the PC has gone hot. It can't be smoking. It's got a cooling system in here. It's got a G-Fox and that Navidi thingy. The PC is on fire! Now, it's smoking! It's smoking! Oh, hell! It's not stopping! Stop! So I'll go around the teat and milk her all out. Um, there's not much in her right now. What the f is this? What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from the Quartering and Amazon's new MMO. Well, yeah, new MMO. New World has entered closed beta allowing uh pre-purchasers of the game as well as i guess a few testers and people that they let into the program uh into it and wow i mean i guess there's a lot of uh interest in new mmos out there this will be another hit to blizzard's uh king of the mountain world of warcraft may even draw people away from Final Fantasy XIV for some time, although that seems like an unstoppable juggernaut at this point. Uh, the Amazon New World Beta, again, now remember, th these are mostly pre-purchasers, hit a concurrent player base on Steam of 190,000. It felt like it had been forever since we hit a big MMO launch. This is via PC Gamer. Until the summer, be free between Crowfall, Swords of Legends Online, and Amazon's upcoming New World, there's a sudden glut of them. And But uh, of those three, New World seems to be the most popular. Judging by the 190,000 players that jumped on for closed beta simultaneously yesterday. And if you're like me, you know, I just uh, downloaded the 30 gigabyte update this morning. Um, and so I won't get into it until uh, probably tonight. Um, there's a lot of people that probably pre-purchased the game that haven't been in there. According to SteamDB, New World peaked at 190,811 concurrent players and currently has just over 160,000 playing. That's enough to make New World the fourth biggest game on Steam, just ahead of Grand Theft Auto V and Apex Legends. It's also dominating Twitch where it's currently the second most popular game with over 300,000 viewers. There are some caveats to the numbers. Currently, the closed beta is accessible to those who have pre-ordered the game, but because the beta and actual games are separate listings on Steam, it's likely some players could have pre-ordered and refunded that purchase just to get beta access. There's uh, probably also a lot of players who jumped in without having to pay any money, given away you know, with uh, beta keys. But regardless, Still New World is looking like it'll be the big MMO hit of the summer. For comparison, Swords of Legends Online reportedly sold 200,000 copies, which is legit, uh, in the week of its launch, which is still a lot of copies. But it has only peaked at just over 18,000 concurrent players. It's a pretty good MMO, though, once you get per per persevere through its boring and repetitive leveling process. So if that's true... Let's just say that we, I have no reason to like, let's just for a, a fun little exercise. It, it, that, that's what, about one-tenth? So 200,000 sold. Let's just call it 20,000 concurrent. That's 10, 10x, right? If, if Amazon had that number, that would mean that 2 million people have purchased the game. Um, that would be insanity. I, I don't believe that's the case, but... I really hope it is. Obviously, Amazon has a lot of work to do with the game. Uh, in particular, how about it bricking the $1,500 NVIDIA RTX 3090 s That's kind of a problem. Bricking RTX 3090s and graphics card drought is not a good look. Now, to be fair, it seems like every time a new game comes out or you know something like this, there's always some sort of rumors or opinions around you know or, or like um suspicions around it causing problems with graphics cards the closed beta for amazon's new world mmo just went live yesterday and today there are multiple report multiple reports that it's somehow killing geforce rtx 3090 graphics cards that uh that's hardware that that's hardware that's mighty tough to replace right now the reports have come through new world subreddit 
Cross posted in our NVIDIA. After Gray178 posted about the death of their RTX 3090, Twitter is seeing some instances of dead GPUs as well. Playing the New World beta on my EVGA 3090 has fried my graphics card completely. There are many accounts of the same thing happening with the same card and the same game. Team EVGA, play New World. I just want to make sure this doesn't happen to others. It's a bizarre situation. Software should not be able to just roast a, a graphics card in 2021. There are meant to be a whole raft of fail safes built into your hardware that should stop it from overheating, clocking too high, or drawing more power than it can handle. This is how... Uh, this is how come overclocking is pretty much foolproof these days, if a little unrewarding. But seemingly, these fail safes aren't so safe in New World, with the game overheating GPUs and causing power spikes all over the place. The general consensus seems to be that that sound to uncapped frame rates in the menu screens, with graphics silicon far too excited and drawing too much juice through VRAM and frying them. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. StarCraft II was another culprit back in the day. If you run New World with a capped frame rate from the off with your GPU underclocked and undervolted with strict power limit engaged, there's a very high chance you won't destroy your expensive graphics card. Now you have here, obviously, how to get through and turn them off. Visuals, max FPS, just set it to 60. Uh... There's no way I'm going to try to dive into New World Beta and see if my RTX 3090 can handle it until we get update from Amazon or NVIDIA about what's causing this. Now, maybe it's just the EVGA model. I don't know. I don't have a 3090. I can't afford a 3090. I do have an RTX 2080 Ti, and I feel like that should be plenty. Um, you know, if one of my uh, wonderful viewers wants to, um, uh, you know, put me on to one of those, I wouldn't be opposed to it. But... Uh, for now, I, I think I'll be fine. Um, you know, New World, as like an aside, really does feel kind of unique. I jumped into it. I only put maybe four hours into the alpha, but I really felt like I was playing something a little bit different. It felt a little bit like World of Warcraft. It felt a little bit like Final Fantasy, as you know MMOs do. But I really like the resource gathering and, and all the other things that you do in the game. That makes it feel unique in its own right. I hope that there are more and more options. What does this mean for Blizzard? Well, probably not good news, considering um, they're already hemorrhaging players uh, to Final Fantasy XIV Online, myself included. I was all ready to jump back into Final Fantasy Online. Now I'm thinking I should probably play New World for a little bit, refamiliarize myself with it. It does also seem, by the way, that this issue peculiar to EVGA cards at the moment, though New World is evidently pushing other GPUs too hard as well, with reports of unnecessary high power usage in the menu screens and stupidly high temperatures as a result. This means the argument about whether or not the hardware issue or a game issue encountered at the same time EGA, EVGA 3090 FTW with power supply of over a thousand watts, says one Reddit user, I guess it's not a game issue. The cards were just bad and waiting for the right conditions to fail. Add me to the list, writes another EVGA 3090, FTW 3 ran, fine for about 30 minutes, black screen, game audio still going, fan shoots up to 100% after black screen, hard reset, now no video. So is, is New World the first game to really take advantage of these cards' capabilities and, and push them? Uh, at this rate, and it was just kind of waiting to fail. It seems unlikely that Amazon's going to come out here and, and like take responsibility, so to speak, for all these bricking cards. You know, you know, around launch of the 30 X RTX 30 series cards, there were several cards reported of cards failing because of power componentry not being up to the job. A lot of the blame was put on capacitors, but VRAM or VRMs got some blame too. EVGA itself noted that some of the early boards, those that went out to reviewers, had insufficiently capable capacitors, but they supposedly never got out to retail. NVIDIA salved the issue by releasing a driver that pulled back a little on the power front, and since we've not really seen any problems, certainly with the power color RTX 3080 we had, which kept failing, I'm sorry, kept falling over before patch, it was far happier afterwards. I guess Amazon will learn its lesson with Bezos now back from space. On top of that, we had kind of a hilarious moment with the game as Annie Fuchsia gets permanently banned from New World. 
That's right. After milking a cow. New World's closed beta went live on July 20th, and Annie Fuchsia, or Fuchsia, I don't know, she she used to follow me on Twitter, I don't know how she says her name, uh, was among many streamers ready to get in the action. While in the first few moments it seemed to go well enough, minus a couple of connection-related hiccups, the streamer seemed to be enjoying herself. That was until she decided to try and milk a cow for whatever reason. The game decided that was a bannable offense. After finishing milking the cow, a bottle of milk appeared on the screen, popped up claiming she had received a oh, then a screen popped up claiming she had received a permanent ban. Bad spelling aside, she was absolutely bewildered. What? That's not even spelled correctly. The pop-up didn't provide any determination determining why she'd banned either, simply stating, reason you have been banned. Eddie was under the impression that milking cows wasn't allowed. But luckily, fellow Twitch streamer Asmongold heard about her ban and called her to provide some assistance. My chat was telling me you got banned. I talked to somebody from New World. They're watching the stream, and they said it was an accident. He revealed they're looking into it. Oh, so it's okay to milk cows, uh, Annie said. Unfortunately, Asmongold jokingly replied. What do you mean, unfortunately? This is a great thing. It means we can drink milk. As she was quick to retort. While the issue ended up actually being server related, the fact that the ban occurred after she milked a cow was utterly ridiculous. Not to mention that the weird spelling seemed like a callback of video games yesteryear, such as the infamous Your, a win, your Winner in Big Rigs. Because the game is still in closed beta, it's very likely the spelling and absurd bans will get resolved, but it was quite a weird first impression from the Amazon MMO, to say the least. Well, this is why we have betas. Right. This is why, um, you know, we work hard playing these games, uh, you know, and it seems like really every game that comes out nowadays is in some various form of a beta. So this is just par for the course. Um, I would say I'm excited to try out New World. If you're playing or you're trying it out, let me know your comments in the comment section down below. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did and you want more coverage like this, please make sure you click that red subscribe button down below the video. I will greatly appreciate you becoming a subscriber if you haven't yet. I know it's kind of a pain, but uh, consider it a personal favor to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.